everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel this is a follow-up video from my vlogmas not vlogmas um, three or four videos that I uploaded recently so this will be my after vlogmas vlog uh, I am feeling really I don't want to say despondent that's the wrong word but I'm feeling a little bit disconsolate lately and I'm just lacking motivation this happens to me whenever I end well whenever I'm on holidays what tends to happen is it takes me a while to relax so I finished work on the 9th of December uh, well technically speaking like I explained in a previous video around about the 14th I sort of like really in my mind clocked off so that's already like two weeks gone so it's taken me that long to wind down and now I'm like okay I mean, I've got schoolwork to do and I'm betting myself up about it because I'm actually not working on it and doing much about it at the moment. But at the same time, I have to remind myself I'm actually on school holidays and it's okay for me to take a break and not do anything. I think my, my work ethic is too rigid and I know, sorry, I'm sweating because it is currently 37 degrees here in Melbourne, which equates to about 98.6 or something Fahrenheit. What I was going to say is I think my work ethic is too rigid and people have told me that before, but I find it hard to back away from it because I have such high expectations of myself. Got up this morning, I went for a walk, it was hot, I probably went a little bit too late. Of course, I sweated too much, so I dehydrated, despite bringing water with me and drinking while I was walking and then drinking afterwards. And uh, so I ended up having a bit of a nap. Uh, to try and get over this headache and I've just been lazing about all day so I don't want to fall into this habit of being lazy I just I don't like being lazy I I can be lazy very well but I just don't want to be lazy I thought to myself you know what why not oh good the sun's moving can you see the sun just why not work on this because my bag shelves have become somewhat messy so these are my like two and a bit weeks that I have to myself and I really 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 want to just like veg you know I just want to veg but at the same time I had I had trouble allowing myself to veg anyway let's work on this so, so this is the current situation uh, those three across the top I mean if I wanted to I could probably put something across the top as well but I, have, I haven't actually thought of that but I think I really need to dust up there to be honest and this is what I've got so I've got those three up there this becomes like a little bit of a bag collection I've got some Chanel Balenciaga, well you can't say the B word can you, Dior, Chanel, Fendi on that second shelf, then I've got Fendi, Fendi, Coach, Fendi, Coach, YSL, Gucci, Karl Lagerfeld and, and so on and then some of those there at the bottom and then over this side here is again the B word, uh, there's that little, I forget the name, the brand name or that one, I'll have to look it up, Longchamp, Louis, Henry Bendel at the back, Cap, C by Chloe, and so on. So this is what I need to work on. And I figured, I wanted to ask you, in terms of watching a YouTuber, do you think that it's too cluttered to have all of this sort of thing in the background? Okay, so hairs up because she's hot today. Uh, what I thought I would do is take everything off, lay everything on my bed, and then play around with positioning everything back on the shelves. Uh, let me know in the comments what uh, storage capacity you have set up uh, for your own bag collections um, or how do you store your bags? Do you have them visible? Do you have them, you know, behind closed doors? What do you do? How do you sort of like work on that? I do have a lot of bags clearly uh, because, you know, not just because I'm on YouTube but just because I like them but having said that I have sold a few and there are a couple here that I also have listed for sale anyway let me get on with this I will most likely time-lapse me taking everything off and then we can look at everything okay that is everything laid out I mean I have other things over here excuse the mess I have other little bags and things there but I'll deal with that another time and um, 
And there's another one in there, but that can just stay there. So this is what we're looking at. A lot of dark colors. I didn't realize how much black I have. Seriously, gotta get more color. So I'm going to wipe down these shelves, give them a nice little wipe down with, um, you know, a cloth and some warm water, and then I will organize all of this. I'm sort of feeling tired already. Maybe I shouldn't have done this already. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go through with it. Wipe down all these shelves with a damp cloth, and I have dusted them as well because you know when you wipe damp cloth over dust you still see dust behind and uh, a lot of the bags will also need to be dusted because they sit there open um, I have considered getting those doors these are the bully not bully Ikea Billy bookcases and you can buy the doors I've considered buying them what do you think should I put the glass doors on or leave it open what do you reckon um, so now I have to consider how I'm going to organize everything so this is you know what we're looking at and I just have to now consider how am I going to put everything on the shelves <sighs> do I go for biggest down to smallest design house by design house but I don't have multiples of every design house of course anyway I'll just start putting them up and then I'll show at the end what I've done okay that took about 40 odd minutes but this is sort of what I'm looking at what do you think I'll flip you around hold please I've got those two light colored ones oops up the top there so yes we've got the B bag but anyway Celine then we've got Philip Lim Longchamp coach Glomesh um is that Glomesh yeah that's Glomesh then we've got going from right to left C by Chloe Henry Bendel Karl Lagerfeld YSL Versace, Coach, Dior, YSL, Chanel, Chanel, B-Bag, an individual Italian bag, Gucci Clutch, Coach, old Zara tote that I decorated with vintage brooches. And then if you come to this side, this side is a little bit darker, but Louis Vuitton, Montaigne, MM, Biagi Designs, little, you know, Kelly lookalike. Lotus, which is um, like a slightly less expensive version of Loewe. Then we have Gucci, Oraton, uh, Paradis Officiel, uh, B again, the B brand over there, Clutch, Coach, I'm going to sell that. Oh, I've got to fix this. I'm going to list these two for sale. Coach Parker, that's the Coach Basquiat phone holder. Then we have Fendi, 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 little vintage Chanel strap, Versace, Henry Bendel at the back, um, coach pencil case thing. And then we have the coach, um, oops, on top of the containers there, which holds some SLGs. There is the coach notebook holder, which I'm going to be using in 23. And then we've got uh, a few clutches and these other bags. That box at the back I have to fix that contains um what are they called a bando that I'm going to also list for sale that is what my storage looks like the rest of my room is a little bit untidy but tell me what your thoughts are so that you know when I'm doing a video <laughs> when I'm doing a video here and I'm talking and I'm doing my usual spiel and my usual thing what do you think? Does that look okay? Does that look too messy? As in, not messy, as in busy? Uh, should I go biggest to smallest that way? Like reverse them? I sort of like the idea of them going this way, but I don't know, you tell me. What I'm sort of like, I, I really do need to sell a few bags simply because I'm not going to go out of my way to get more storage to hold the bags. Some bags are going to go. In my next video, I think what I will do, ew, you're crooked, is actually show some of the bags that I have listed to sell and if any of you are interested by all means you can reach out i have already listed them on some of the facebook groups and vestiaire collective and um not poshmark the other one no just vestiaire and ebay ebay of course so that's that um let me know what you think of this organization does it seem okay uh, 
I don't want to have a cluttered background. That's my point. So anyway, take it from there. I forward to reading your comments as always. Take care, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Did you say the arm jiggle?